I hear him biting the hand that feed him. See one thing about it, boy, two things for sure. Be biting the hand that feed him. All the time in the hood, man. That's how that be, but sometimes boy you play with fire, you get burnt. That's what happened down Wiz, boy, playing with fire getting burnt. Wisdom Williams, known to many as rap star Wiz the Wizard. This young musical genius was on the verge of a career that could have placed him amongst the best of the best in the world of rap. But one morning in 2021, police arrived at an address where they find a murdered Williams spread across the lawn after a brutal shooting left him dead at the scene. With no leads and no suspects, police faced a battle to uncover how this rapper was found murdered with his body chopped up. Friday, September 17th, 2021, the police received a 911 call after a body was reportedly found outside of a home in Miami. Attending officers found the body but could not identify the victim right away. They wouldn't have to wait long to get an answer. His family members poured onto the scene in an effort to see their worst fears had been realized. As people gathered at the scene, some pushed their way under the crime scene tape. When you suspect that it might be a family member of yours or a loved one, uh, you would want to try to confirm that for yourself. It wasn't anything malicious or ill will, it was just a, trying to get their own confirmation. This panic had been caused by a text message that was circulating from the unknown person who found the body. What that message said sent shockwaves across the neighborhood. It detailed how when Wiz the Wizard was found, his head was not attached to his body. And the disturbing act of murder that many believe was to send a message or warning to others. Almost as soon as the text was sent, news spiraled out of control. Hollandale Beach police have not confirmed the identity of of the person found. Multiple posts on social media claim the victim was a rapper Wiz the Wizard. Wiz the Wizard was murdered with such brutality that police fear releasing the full details of his death may cause a mass panic in the local area. Uh, I can't confirm a head wound, but it does appear that he did have some trauma to his body, correct? Even worse, police noticed something unusual about the scene and soon realized that he may have been killed somewhere else and his body dumped here later. At this time, we don't have any known suspects and the investigation is still ongoing. But what reason could someone have to take such life in a vicious and violent attack? Why was the body moved? And where was it moved from? It seems Wiz the Wizard was no stranger to flirting with danger. Born in 1997, Wiz the Wizard quickly fell into the life of a gang member. Minor scuffles with the law were common growing up, but he really found his feet when he delved into the rap scene and began making his own music. He was widely known to be close with another rapper, Kodak Black, and even signed onto his music label, Sniper Gang Records. With the gang life, however, came a certain lifestyle, one that many took more seriously than others. Once you sign your name on that dotted line, you gotta prepare for whatever that's come that come with it. And you separating yourself from them and start dissing a member, that, that create a lot of riff and a lot of tension that's gonna cause you problem in the long run. First found his love of music at the age of 14 when he joined rap group Brutal Youngs. But as much as he loved music, trouble always seemed to be lurking around the next corner. Broward County, Florida, six month police investigation and a series of burglaries led to then arresting one 17 year old they suspected to be the ringleader, Wiz the Wizard. His lengthy list of charges not only included the burglaries, but also aggravated assault and resisting arrest. Although others were arrested, police were certain their man, Wiz the Wizard, was at the heart of the series of crimes. Williams and several others were arrested and charged with breaking into homes. A year later, he was a passenger in a car when another rapper, Kodak Black, was arrested. Not only was evidence caught on security cameras of the burglaries in action, it's believed he was also brazen enough to actually park his car in the driveway of his victims' houses in broad daylight. Even though there were at least 10 arrests altogether, Wiz the Wizard's gang was thought to be 100 strong. They'd stalk their victims, striking when they were out of work, sometimes even returning to steal their family vehicle. He was found guilty. He was sent to juvenile hall with a 21-day sentence. By the age of just 24, he had the world at his fingertips. His songs, Don Dadas, You're the Twins, and And What's the Jewett, had gained notoriety online, attracting hundreds of thousands of likes and views. Collaborations with some of the most established artists at the time, like Psycho Bob, Wham, Spin the Bin, who both appeared on Kodak's single Righteous Reaper, also helped cement Wiz the Wizard as a rising star and an artist to watch out for. But with that lifestyle, his life was as perilous as it was profitable soon fall victim to an unknown assailant with known motives. With possible injuries including severe head trauma, police suspected foul play. The case would only get even stranger. Nobody in the surrounding houses heard any gunshots or activity at all. It's almost as if his body just appeared from nowhere. Why did this happen and where was this man killed? 
make their way into a crime scene after a man was found dead on a sidewalk Friday. It was down to social media to help solve the murder of Wiz the Wizard. Police in Hallandale Beach say a man was found dead in front of a home this morning. He's believed to be rapper Wiz the Wizard. Florida Highway Patrol says an alleged road rage shooting on I-95 also this morning led to another man getting at least 22 bullet holes to the driver's side of his car. Many of his friends and associates spoke out online, making their feelings perfectly clear, sharing their own theories on who might be responsible. I'm about to hear that thesia, you think that ain't gonna come for that? Yeah, they gonna come for that. They did that boy Wiz Mafioso style, but that's how it go in the hood when you being a demon. Know what I'm saying? If you want to be a demon, them demons gonna come for you. There were heavy suspicions thrown of the infamous Zoe Pound gang, who were also suspects in several cases of murder, all connected to rappers in the music business. Over 18 lives have been slain by a gang claiming to be Zoe Pound, something original members deny, telling reporters, despite any evidence, it seems those who know Wiz the Wizard best might know exactly who's responsible. Took that boy, kidnapped that boy, tortured that boy. Drop that boy back off in his hood. Let the family come see that boy. You feel me? Real demon sh The idea that Wiz the Wizard is killed elsewhere was confirmed as the investigation went on and his social media was even scrutinized in an attempt to help find answers of his death. His Instagram account showed no sign of the imminent danger with him posting pictures of his youth and sharing memories with 160,000 fans and followers. 14 hours later, he was dead. The working relationship of Kodak Black and Wiz the Wizard was pretty well known, with them appearing in music videos and songs together. But as his friendship with Kodak was also brought into the frame, as Kodak himself was known to associate with some pretty unsavory characters himself and had been in and out of court on various charges. This left many to wonder what really went on behind the scenes in the lead up to the murder. So therefore, you're expendable and your loyalty, your love is expandable. So therefore, Wiz the Wizard up by pretty much not sticking true to his cause, not sticking true to what he stand for. Rumors of Wiz the Wizard's head being severed continued to this day, perhaps not helped by the police withholding vital information from the media and the public. Friends and family are all keen to see the as of yet still unreleased autopsy, which might finally help answer questions of just what happened to this promising young man to die in such a brutal way. For now, the case remains unsolved. And with little to go on, it may be down to the courage of someone who may have vital information to help solve this murder and help punish those responsible. Although disturbing, cases like this are rare and often limited to gang members. The sooner Wiz the Wizard's killers are brought to justice, the easier we can sleep at night. Let me know what you think of the case in these comments down below. Do you have any theories to share? And don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the sinister world of organized crime.